G'day, G'day, Comrade subscribers. Thought I'd have a look at uh, something I first looked at, video number 20. So about just over 650, well, probably more than that, considering the ones I haven't uploaded. But yeah, over 650 videos ago. So um, electronic chess um, always kind of interested me. I'm no good at chess, doesn't. But I've always been fascinated by you know computer computerized chess. So this is the Tandy. Tandy 1650 computerized portable sensual <laughs> sensory chess. So um, pretty simple. So I've already looked at this, but um, turn it on. So I think oh, I should really read the instructions, shouldn't I? Um, but if I go, okay. So I mean, so I think the computer's black. So the way it works is say you push down and then you move say the piece to where you want and push down again and then it'll indicate where it wants to go so it wants to move this pawn and it wants to move it to here okay and then I go to there it's having a think about it and it wants to move oh okay I've um, replaced these <laughs> so it's probably not one of these is not working um, so I don't know which one it's talking about maybe it's the bishop no it's not that one maybe it's the knight no is it this knight yeah okay that knight to there no okay <laughs> anyway whatever so um yeah so it's pretty cool having a little computer you can play chess against um, so the way this is implemented, so I've already had a look at it in the first video a few years ago, is with a uh, Hitachi HD 6301 microcontroller. So a microcontroller's got a, a processor, ROM, RAM, and a whole lot of ports. So I believe that this implements the Logi Chess um, chess program, which is uh, in the 4K of ROM. And um, I think by a fellow called Carde, who also wrote this book, I believe, this ball and book, um, Turbo Gameworks, for uh, Turbo Pascal and all that. So, um, yeah. So the idea I had, or I've had for a while, is that um, kind of like a chess processor or ch chess co-processor. So I know you can, you know, obviously you just have a chess program in your computer, but what about a chess coprocessor that you plug in, like a like a, a numeric coprocessor or something like that? I know there's absolutely no point doing it, but I just thought, you know, it might be something interesting to do. So to do that, actually, what's this? Is this what does this open up? Oh, okay, that's where the chess pieces go. So to do that, obviously, I would need to remove the um, the microcontroller. And put it onto a board, and um, you know, obviously add some logic and stuff, and figure out how to um, how to talk to it. So this one actually does have a handy schematic um, that uh, shows how it works. So as you know, as you can expect, it's got an eight by eight keyboard matrix, really. So that's something that I'm going to have to be able to talk to, so I can tell it my move. And it can tell me its move, um, which is going to be. Bi oh no no not not. Um, okay no because the LED is connected there as well. It's a two by eight. So that'll be via the data. Yeah. So let's see. I'm not sure how to do it. Of course, if I don't try, I'm never going to figure it out, am I? So let's open this up again and um, have a look. Right. Here's the actual thing. We've, we've all looked at this before in, in the um, in the original video. So we've got our rank LEDs and our file. Is that the right way around? <laughs> well, that's a bit loose. Our file LEDs, and um, obviously we've got the MC the MCU there. Um, we've got the uh, additional keypad here for the functions. So to select a new game and things like that. Then we've got our um, indicator LEDs up there and then we've got our 8x8 keypad to um, give us that which is connected there and then we've got an all clear there so it's all pretty simple um, so I have redrawn so that's the original schematic 
and I have redrawn it in KiCad, which is on my GitHub as always. Um, so I've expanded the I've expanded the um, the chessboard keypad. Um, then we've got our, our rank and file LED indicators here to indicate what position is being moved. Uh, function keys. Then we've got our indicator LEDs over here, um, and then we've got the um, the on and memory. So you can power it on and play the game, or you can switch it to memory, in which case it'll trigger like a standby mode. Uh, there was one thing, and it's got the buzzer as well. So I wasn't too sure there was a pin, a port 40, pin 29, which wasn't labelled on the original schematic. So I'm thinking it might be maybe perhaps an idle thing. So uh, if it's, say, idle for 10 minutes, you're not playing, it'll pulse this to trigger standby mode, perhaps. It's kind of like a uh, an elegant way of doing it. Rather than doing it internally, you can just pulse that and get the standby um, routine to, to handle everything. So I'm thinking maybe that's what that's there for. Um, one interesting thing I'm not too sure about is uh, the um, oscillator. Uh, it's it's an LC, so there is actually no um, there's no crystal or um, resonator or anything like that. It's just a pair of twenty picofarad capacitors and an inductor, an unknown quantity inductance. So that's different for me, anyway. So I'm going to have to figure out what uh, frequency that is as well. Um, so yeah, so I might have a look at that on the um, on the oscilloscope. But um, yeah, so to actually implement this on the VIC, so what I'm thinking of is uh, implementing, so using the cartridge port. So plug into the cartridge port and then have a 6522 uh, six via, 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 versatile interface adapter um, that'll talk to the MCU. Because what I will need to do is, so the outputs, the outputs that I'll need to capture are the LEDs. So obviously I'm not gonna have LEDs, um, but that's the kind of output from the MCU to tell me what piece it wants to move. So I'll need to capture that so I know what its move is. Um, but to tell it what my move is, um, I'm assuming it's some sort of, it's like a normal sort of keyboard. So it'll um, pulse maybe the files. So maybe they're low. No, no, maybe they're high, idle high, and it'll pulse one each one low in turn and then read read off the rank here to see which one you've pressed maybe. So I'm going to have to kind of implement that as well. Um, and also, yeah, I'm going to have to capture the uh, the LED. Uh, these LEDs over here are also going to be inputs to to the VIC. So I know what, what the states are, I guess. Um, because there's a LED for, for when it's in check, for when it's uh, mate and uh, whose turn it is black and white. So I'll need to capture those as well. So yeah, obviously I know there's lots of good chess programs, um, probably even chess programs on cartridge. Um, so absolutely no point in doing this, but I just thought it might be interesting, you know, having a chess, chess coprocessor. So um, yeah, let's have a look at what the um, what frequency this thing runs at, and then I'll have a bit of a poke around with the um, logic analyzer. Right, I think I'm done. Well, I've got some initial information anyway. So I've um, captured the uh, the crystal, well, the crystal, the uh, the clock input, well, which is actually called the crystal input. Uh, so I think it's about three megahertz. It's resonating at. And I've captured on just on the oscilloscope, um, yeah. So the files. So it looks like the files are high, and then they go low as we scan each column to um, see. Yeah. Anyway, keyboard stuff. And I've also had a look when the LED is lit up. So I've captured the um, port twenty or port forty six, forty seven pins twenty two, twenty three. 
so I've got an idea for that. So I think I might start with maybe an Arduino. Hook this up with the via on an Arduino so I can fiddle around with that a bit and um, then progress to the VIC-20 cartridge, maybe. I don't know, it might be a lot of work for not, <laughs> not much point, but um, reading the instructions actually, it says that depending on the level, uh, do, 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 where is it? Depending what, because you got up to eight levels. Um, just got a, something in here about, so this is on the GitHub as well. Clearing the board, where is the level setting? Here we go. So average time per move. So for level zero, it's two seconds, um, up to two hours for level seven. <laughs> um, average time per move. So I, d I don't know if there's any VIC-20 uh, chess games that um, do level <laughs> similar to level seven. I don't know. Um, so anyway, anyway, uh, I don't know. Bit of fun, bit of fun. There we go. Bye for now.